This episode of The Bill and Callie Show is brought to you by Executive Suite Squared by ATG, offering private and shared office space with 24-7 secured access, three state-of-the-art conference rooms, shared lounge and cafe area, receptionist, printing center, and fiber optic internet access with Wi-Fi throughout. Conveniently located just south of 8094 at the Kennedy Avenue exit at 2901 Carlson Drive in Hammond, Indiana. For information on how you can become a member, go to executivesuites2.com or call 219-844-2901. Executive Suite Squared, home to the Bill and Callie Show. The Bill and Kelly Show is recorded at Studio A at Executive Suite Squared in beautiful Hammond, Indiana. Now, here's Bill and Kelly. Hello. With us today, we have Christine White, who is a Paralympic snowboard hopeful. Yes, you got that right. Yay. Awesome. Awesome. So, um, you... We're on just a couple of months ago. Back in yeah. November. And we loved her so much. We said, please come back. <laughs> so uh, how's it been? How Winter has been great so far. While we've not had the snow out here, we have had some good snow in Wisconsin and Michigan. Uh, oh, good. Awesome. So that's your training territory. That's my training ground out here. A lot of times I'm in the gym most of the winter and <clears throat> out in Colorado my couple weeks I get out there. Mm. So it's always kind of a, it's a bummer when I have to come back from Colorado, but this past <laughs> yeah. year, I think I told Callie when I was messaging with her one day, I'm like, I was the sickest I've ever been this past year in Colorado. Yeah. Oh boy. And I was just talking to somebody who flew in from Colorado for my cousin's baby shower, um, and she was saying that it had so much snow that you can't go skiing unless you go on the little baby hills and everything, because it's too dangerous right with now, avalanche stuff. They just had 28 inches at Copper Mountain in two days. Yeah. Wow. And I'm like, why am I not there? <laughs> so it's a bummer, but at the same time, I got to give my body time to heal and recover from that wonderful, dreadful influenza A. Yes. Which I had last week. <laughs> so I was out of training for a week, and I'm yeah. like, uh, not fun. Oh, boy. Now, the main reason we wanted you to come on was to talk about you are needing to go to Dallas. I'm going to Dallas to a place called the Synapse Human Performance Center. And it is one of the top neurochiropractic programs started by Parker University to help veterans, anyone with a permanent disability, spinal cord, anything, whether it's leg amputations or leg trauma, to help the body relearn to reconnect with those the nervous system to allow it to come back together and maybe get a little more function and a Mm. little more utility out of my foot while it is still giving me issues. Right. And while you have the opportunity to go there, it costs money to get there and to stay there and to do all those things. Yes. And it has been frustrating. I'm like reaching out. I've actually pushed my trip back twice. I was supposed to go second week of January, which did not happen. I reached out to Charlie and I'm like, hey, can we push it towards the end of February? Because if I go at the beginning, I'm going to leave the lady I dog sit for in a bind. And I'm going to leave my friend who I babysit for in a bind. Plus financials just weren't lined up yet. Right. So I wanted to make sure I had Nikki covered for her dog sitting, my friend Rachel covered for her babysitting, and the financials covered to go. Right. And it's it's not a ginormous financial commitment to go but it's costly enough where my athlete account is already drained right now because of competition season, trainings, etc. It's just extremely frustrating when it's like, you know this is something your body needs. It's like going to the top rated physiotherapist in our area and it's costing you $1,000 out of pocket every time you go. For me to go for two weeks, it's right around $1,500, which isn't horrible. But airline tickets keep going up. I keep looking up. Like, sure. Yeah. That's expensive. And, and uh, so I and want to remind everyone that this injury that you had occurred while you were in service. Correct. Right? So, yeah. Uh, so it's just not you know, like something you did while you were Well, that was no worrying. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, and yeah. we're hoping that our amazing listeners out there, besides 
possibly just wanting to go on and donate and things, some of you might have uh, frequent flyer miles that you'd be willing to donate, mm -hmm. or you have points at a Hilton or a Marriott or something that you'd be willing to donate. So tell everybody how they can get in touch with you and how they can donate and all that good stuff. If you go to my website, which I'm hoping Bill will put in the description. Yep. Oh, we will. <laughs> it is christinewhitesnowboard.com. And if you go on there, there's a big old picture of me holding my snowboard. And if you scroll down about a little bit, quarter of the way down the page, you'll see a page, blank that says support Christine White. Or support and it's super easy because I've done it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you just so push on that little sucker. Push on click and... For those of you who don't want to deal with PayPal, feel free to email me. I can send you the PayPal me link, which allows you to do a credit card check, anything to donate through. And, and you, if you're a local, email. you can email me as well at christine at christinewhitesnowboard.com. You can reach out to me through email, phone. I'll have Bill pop my phone number up there as well. Yeah, awesome. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to reach out any method you choose. I'm usually pretty quick to get back to people, especially the people who take an interest in time to support a local who has a Paralympic goal and a Paralympic dream that without support does not come to fruition. And how cool for you someday to be watching the Paralympics and go, oh, I help that girl get where she's at right now. I mean, that would be super cool. That's yes. what I'm waiting for and while I'm watching you on NBC or whatever. You, you also are still looking for corporate sponsors, right? Yes, I am. So, I mean, there's plenty of companies out there. Uh, I mean, that, that, uh, and uh, this is something you'll get recognition for. I mean, yes. it's not like you're just doing it for just support. Christine, yes. your company will get recognition, and you will be supporting a para-athlete and, uh, and a vet. And so, a local girl. Yeah. Tell everybody where you're from and where you I went to school from, and all that good stuff. I am from Valparaiso, Indiana. I am from, I went to Washington Township, which is a tiny little school, east side of Valpo, and I graduated in class, had 50 people in it. I still see about half of them in town. Yeah, so um, she's a good local girl who went into the military, was injured, now she's trying to make her dreams of being a Paralympic athlete and a, if, a reality. Had I not gotten hurt, I probably would not be doing this. I'd probably still be career military. Which is disappointing to say, but at the same time, as my mom says, God had other plans. That's right. And it's a chance. I will say one thing. One of my coaches in Colorado said in one of my recommendation letters for our training camp I went to, he goes, any investment you make in me as an athlete is not just a flash in the pan. It's not just throwing the money in the pan saying, poof, there it goes. Yeah. The ability for you to see what your donation helps me do is tenfold compared to what a lot of people think of, oh, we're just going to donate to this cause and wherever the money goes, it goes. Yeah. No, this is going to training, the medical care, the lodging, the travel and, that it takes to get there. And a, a regular um, Olympic hopeful does this as well. Oh, They're sure. supported by family, by friends, people in the community, Corporations, uh, put the funds things. together sure. because, I mean, this is, I mean, it's a huge undertaking yes, what you're is. wanting to do. So, I mean... Um, you know, so before you donate uh, to a GoFundMe account for another food truck. <laughs> uh, Although food trucks are yummy. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It, it will call us to make sure we approve of the type of food that's being <laughs> yes. served out of the food truck first. But pl this is much more balanced effort than, than uh, donating to another um, hot salami truck or something. <laughs> so, yeah, please consider this. This is a girl that is trying to live out her dream. And again, this is not anything that's unusual. I, uh, regular athletes do the same um, because para athletes are don't get that much exposure. It's more difficult for them. And, it is. And really, it's like them standing underneath trying to take all the droppings that happen uh, that that come from people that donate to regular athletes. And mm -hmm. um, and I just want to say, if you want to watch video of uh, Christine going down the hills. She's got the videos up there on her uh, website. So cool. Um, yeah, she could see her training, and boy, uh, this girl is working hard at her dream. Yeah. Thank you guys so. for having me again. We it's, well. love you. It's interesting to see, when I look at all the athletes who are getting their corporate sponsors, there's one thing I can say to my Northwest Indiana, Illinois, and wherever, where all the viewers are from, is I'd love to have all my corporate sponsors from my home area. I don't want to reach out to companies that are in Colorado who don't get to see me on a regular basis. I want to reach out to my own backyard 
and for the local community to say, wow, this girl's pretty cool. And what she's doing is what all people should be doing, is reaching for their goals, reaching for their dreams, no matter the obstacles they face. Exactly. And well it's a challenge. Well said. Yeah. Well, one thing I will add to this is if, um, if you do get a corporate sponsor, uh, they will be mentioned here regularly on our show. So yeah, they can take cool. that into consideration, which we on the last video we had was like 1,800 views. And so, I mean. And we're growing every and day. We're growing. Yes, we are. So um, you support Christine, we will support you. And uh, by golly, just put a posting out there that, that showed all of our sponsors. And, and uh, if, you know, by way of supporting our sponsors, they support us. We could do the same here. So just Absolutely. let people know uh, someone that is kind enough hearted to uh, offer uh, a sponsorship from their business or personally, I uh, will let people know who you are. So Yeah, and there's some great little sporting good places around here that would be awesome for oh, supporting yeah. a para Paralympic athlete who's doing some cool snowboarding stuff. Yeah. So, wow, man, uh, we got to get on this, folks. This, we can't let this girl's dream go by the wayside. Way, no, we believe in her too much. Yeah. So help her go get her medical stuff done to make her an even better Paralympic athlete, and then we'll hopefully one day just be watching her on TV going, I know her! <laughs> I'm so excited. I titled my season this year Vision, or something, 2020 Vision, just because one year 2020, Second, I also wanted a chance for everybody to understand this isn't just something I'm doing because I'm doing it. I know where I want to go. I know what path I have to take to get there. And the whole path incorporates everything about what I'm doing with training, mm -hmm. my coaching, my sponsorships, things like that. Because without everything coming together, it doesn't work. Exactly. It takes a village. It, take, it literally <laughs> does take it does. a village. It really does. <laughs> and yeah. that's one thing that's... I'm very thankful for is I have a very good village here mm -hmm. do. and I'm very appreciative for the village yeah. as well yeah yes. well boy is there anything else you want to share with us any other plans you have I've got nationals coming up in the end of March to early April and that will be at Copper Mountain who just got dumped on <laughs> and I really wish I was out there but <laughs> hey sometimes work comes first yeah uh, the best thing probably about the season is just the time I've gotten on snow even though it's only been the week in December and then two weekends, I've had such good training. Like now that I've kind of changed focus and gone to looking at my nutrition and looking at my overall conditioning with it, I've had a better result in my snowboarding than I've already noticed. All right. And even like when I'm in the gym, things are easier and I don't feel so bogged down by my body. I feel a little more supported awesome. a big shout out of that goes to regional sport and spine because yeah, awesome. they are actually the ones who kind of take care of me between training sessions between yeah, regional jobs sport and spine yeah um dr burns cracks me up he's like that's the most even i've seen your feet in two weeks because <laughs> <laughs> my legs usually because my hips everything goes out of alignment because when that foot decides to go flat Everything on the side goes flat with it. So uh -huh. my hips like to twist and it's, he's like, come on, can't you be straight for once? <laughs> it's interesting though to see how much my body does respond though when I'm taking care of the physical side and the nutrition side together. So. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, being an athlete is, is hard work. It's it is. a lot of planning, nutrition, physical, and gosh, yeah, that's where- and mental, I'll, I mean. Yeah, a lot of the foundation lies is, uh, I found that out over the years, is through nutrition. It's like the foundation of everything you're going to build on. Yeah. So, man. Without a solid foundation, everything just kind of That's right. crumbles. Right. Well, with that, I guess we'll wrap things up. And, We're um, very and, happy you came again, back and joined us. Yes, Thank you yes. For we wish you the you best of luck. And uh, to you folks out there, they're looking for a good cause. Boy, we can't think of anything better than uh, someone who wants to live their dream. And, and, and we'll uh, update you, you on how them. things go with nationals and everything, too. Right. We'll, we'll have definitely. you back and learn more. Definitely. And right. then hopefully you guys will cover Leon's triathlon this year. Oh, okay. Yeah, cover, as actually they call it America's Race. Because it literally happens in your backyard across the bridge that way. All right. Huh. All right we'll we'll tell us more. We'll definitely cover that. Yep. Sounds great. 
Thanks. All right, with that, we'll wrap things up and we'll say goodbye for now. Bye, everybody. This episode of The Bill and Callie Show is brought to you by Executive Suite Squared by ATG, offering private and shared office space with 24-7 secured access, three state-of-the-art conference rooms, shared lounge and cafe area, receptionist, printing center, and fiber optic internet access with Wi-Fi throughout. Conveniently located just south of 8094 at the Kennedy Avenue exit, at 2901 Carlson Drive in Hammond, Indiana. For information on how you can become a member, go to executivesuites2.com or call 219-844-2901. Executive Suites Squared, home to the Bill and Callie Show.